<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? How you doing? It's Chris, aka Mr. Ramon420, and um, I don't know if this will be my 100th video on here. If it is, fantastic. I'd love to, love to uh, do a 100th uh, video episode with a, a review. That's right, it's a review time. I know I haven't done one in a little while since um, Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein run. I really love that one. Um, I'm actually doing another you know, review on another Asian film. This, this one, a lot of you really haven't heard about, and probably for good reason. It's, it's a film you can't categorize. It's, it's incredibly weird, incredibly strange, and best to describe it is, huh? That's the best way to say it. <laughs> um, the film I'm talking about is a film from 2008 called Funky Forest, The First Contact. Uh, it's a really great cover. It actually came from the the company itself. There's actually two uh, versions. There's the, the one disc version that only key, uh, has the regular features, and there's a two disc version that comes with all the special features the behind the scenes. That's the 70 minute video there. Um, what can I say about the, the Funky Forest? Well, aside from the fact it's it's bizarre unique. There's creatures you've never seen before. Uh, and the situation with the creatures is people act as if it's just a normal everyday part of their lives. There's a few classrooms where you know, a lot of occurs. As a matter of fact, you know, the thing with this film is a lot of the people are connected to one way or the other through through the story. And technically it's not really a story, it's people doing what they plan to do on their, on a regular basis. Uh, you see a, a trio of three brothers, the Guitar Brothers. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, sales girls that get together for a special, you know, spa vacation. There's a classroom full of kids ranging from seven years old to 52 and you know they're always yelling and complaining and um, there's a you know, after school gym class that was awkward uh, a, I would have to say a choir with weird anamorphic alien creatures it's uh, there's also another after school situation where you know what? I couldn't even describe it. Uh, there are some pretty, pretty disturbing spots to it, uh, like a an anus in a box or a, a blood sucker that attaches onto a girl's arm and you pull it off. And there is a a baby creature who's you know full age, and you squeeze it hard enough and well, let's just say uh, it's a sperm joke. It's a long sperm joke. Um, but once you get past the weirdness, there's there's actually kind of a, a nice idea to it. Uh, idea of uh, f trying to fall in love, find the one person you always wanted to. And the opportunity of uh, of rejection, which you'll you'll see in it. Um, there's a lot of interesting music. It seems as though the the directors kind of got an idea of looking at other cultures and kind of mixed together. You know, maybe getting stuff from Argentina, you know, a few places in Europe, just combining it together and making just a collage of innovative pictures. You're not supposed to understand all of it, but you get the idea of, you know, when it comes to watching it. Truly, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun, fun film. This is actually one of these films I could watch again and again, and actually, actually, if I 
on to put it on the DVD and say be a film that I would fall asleep to. For as weird as it is, it, fe it makes you feel good. It's a nice, nice film to watch. But not too much of a story, but a good idea towards it. Um, it is strange. It's unique and bizarre. But, wow. It's it's a fun ride. It really is. Um, I actually found this on iOffer.com for about nine bucks. And it cost three dollars to send me from a guy in, in China. It took about two weeks or so to come in over here and, and it was in perfect condition. Um, I saw on Amazon for about twenty-seven dollars. But you know, truthfully there's you know you know, I think there's maybe one or two films because it actually, you know, there's a couple of trailers of uh, some of the other stuff they do and I'm probably going to look for the other stuff because it looks as strange as this but maybe with more of a story to it but I'm a fan, I really enjoy it now here's the thing, this film is not meant for a normal viewer if you are a fan of uh, Eat, Pray, Love, this is not the film for you. If your idea of, of a good time is uh, the only film you watch is Nightmare on the Street, this may not be the film for you. If you like the unique, absurd, peculiar, this is definitely just a fun ride. I personally enjoyed it. I really had a good time with it. Uh, I definitely recommend for anyone that likes the, the bit of weirdness when they're watching something. Uh, I would, and again, I would definitely watch it again and would have a good time. And I must remind you, during the film, there's going to be just a lot of strange stuff. As a matter of fact, halfway through it, there's an intermission for about two minutes, and it's actually a real intermission because the, the film's like a little over two hours long. If you had a chance to check it out, go for it. Um, uh, but it's it's only recommended for people that you like you like the unique flavor and understand just a little bit about Japan culture. Although some of it's still unique to Japan culture. Um, well, guys, that's that's my review for you know. So yeah, the Funky Forest. Uh, it actually comes in comes with. English subtitles, you don't have to worry about it, it just will pop on. And it's uh, Region 1. And really, really great picture. Um, actually, a lot of great colors to it. And a beautiful soundtrack you'll enjoy. Uh, guys, that's my review, review for now. Um, thank you for checking out. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and don't drink the Kool Aid. I'll see you guys later. I can't get rid of you